about 1977, they said, look, we're looking at stars from the surface of the Earth. We have to look through a dirty atmosphere. Our magnification is so big that we're actually seeing particles of dust. Is there some way we could put our telescope in outer space where it's a lot cleaner? The, the Congress said, all right, fine. Hundred million dollars? No, 1.5 billion dollars. The Hubble Space Telescope put it in space, size of a school bus, and they took it up there, and now they can, ooh, look at what we can see. And so they started looking all over the universe, and they said, oh, we know how big everything is now, because we know how long light takes to travel, we know where things are coming from, and so they said the universe is certain size big. Now let me explain real quick, one light year is how long it takes light to travel in a year. That universe you're looking at, it's 93 billion light years across. That's just what we could see. And they estimate the universe, oh, give or take a billion, is about 15.6 billion years old. That's their estimate, nobody was there. Now, I could tell you how they came up with that, but listen to this. Everything we see, we point our telescope that way, we point it down that way, everywhere we point it, we see huge galaxies, we see a large amount of stars. And in fact, what we're seeing doesn't explain the movements of stuff. There's something out there moving stars around in a way that we can't explain. And they call that dark matter. And in fact, they think there's more of that <laughs> than the stuff we're seeing. Explain to me. Because when I hear people say there is no God, I'm like, who are you? Where have you been? Have you been any of these places? Have you flipped over every rock? Have you, the only person who can convince me there is no God is somebody who took me to all these places, say, see, look over here, no God. 